Okay, so there's one really powerful tool that you can use to drastically improve your conversion rate optimization and get a better understanding of how users navigate through your website. This is a great way to make improvements and increase your conversion rates. Hi everybody, I'm John Lincoln with Ignite Visibility and today I'm gonna to teach you about this one really powerful tool and by the end of this video, you'll be a better conversion rate optimization expert. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, so what is this tool? Well, this is a tool that I've used a ton of times. It's called the InPage Analytics Chrome extension. It used to be a report just in Google Analytics. Now it's a Chrome extension. And what it allows you to do is see specifically who's on a web page, see the click through rate for certain areas of the web page. You can even highlight over certain areas of a link to see how many people have clicked on it. And then you can also do a color grid overview of the entire page so that you can see darker areas in different colors that have higher propensity for people to click on it. This is an incredibly powerful report. So what is it? It's the InPage Analytics Chrome extension, which you can just go ahead and go to the Chrome extension area and you can download it and install it on your browser and start using it right away. The way that it works is if you are hooked up to an analytics account and you go to the website associated with that analytics account, it's going to give you page by page basis analytics on those web pages, which can become so powerful. So it's the InPage Analytics Chrome extension. So some of the metrics that it gives you are page views, average time on page, bounce rate, exit percentage, real-time active visitors, and it also gives you in-page click analytics. So how do you use this? Well, it's very simple. If you go to a web page and you fire it up, you can overlay and see the things that people click on the most on the page. Based off of that, you can see that users are using that a lot. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if they're clicking on something like a help button, then maybe they don't have a good understanding of that page. If they're clicking on something like a home button, then maybe they're not getting what they need. What you want to see is you want to see people clicking on the things on the page that you want them to click on. So are they clicking on the call to action? Are they clicking on a certain area of the navigation? You know, are they clicking on a specific link? And you want to use that to move things around. So for example, if somebody's clicking on the navigation and you see that things at the end of the navigation are getting clicked on a ton of times and things at the beginning of the navigation aren't getting clicked on at all, what does that tell you? Well, you can move things from one place to another in the navigation and you can eliminate certain things in the navigation that are not being used. So you want to make sure you use this report so that you can better refine the conversion rate optimization and have the elements on the page that people actually want to interact with. Now on the other end, again, going back to that help example, if they're clicking on help, if they're clicking on things that you don't want them to click on, think about why that is. Maybe they need more information so that they can make the purchase. Maybe they need to have certain things reduced on the page, but either way, you wanna use that to make a strategic decision. Okay, so here's an action item for everybody right now. Go to your home page and fire up this report. Go to the top templates on your website and fire up this report and look at things like the navigation, look at the body, and look at the footer. All of this together is gonna to give you a really good idea of how people are interacting with your website and you wanna double down and bring more visibility to the things that are getting clicked on, the things that aren't getting clicked on, try to figure out why, remove them if you can, or if you need them to be clicked on, then bring more visibility to them. That's it for InPage Analytics Chrome extension. I hope you like this one. Go ahead and leave me a comment. I love chatting with you. I'd be happy to answer any questions. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.